In this video, I'll be simplifying the concept of prop drilling in React. Simply put, prop drilling is a concept of drilling props through several child components until you get to the final component that needs that props. And this is not good practice because it can actually make your application difficult to manage. I'll be using a code example in this video to show you what prop drilling is and to also make you understand why it is not good practice. So join me as we head to the code editor. I have this very simple React project which actually has prop drilling and I'll be using this to explain what prop drilling means. But before I explain what prop drilling means, let me just quickly take you through the code. So I have this app component here and this app component has the layout component as its child and here in the layout component this component has the form as its child and the form component here has this button component as a child and this is the button component which receives two props which is is loading and on click submit and then when the is loading is true i'm going to show loading as the button text but if the is loading state is false i'm going to display submit and for this on click submit function prop i'm going to pass that to the on click event of the button and also if the is loading is true that means the button will be disabled now where is the loading state coming from and where is this on click submit function handled it is handled here in the app.js which has the loading state by default it is false and then for the submit handler when it is triggered first we update the loading state to true and after two seconds using set timeout we update the loading state to false and i'm going to show you the result of this on the web so this is the button when I click on it, you can see it is disabled and it is showing loading and after two seconds, it goes back to show submit. Now, this is prop drilling. You can see that for us to get this loading state and this function handler to work from this button component, we had to pass these props from the app component. We had to pass it to the layout component. From the layout component, we had to pass it to the form component. From the form component, that is now when we pass it to the button component, which the button component now uses that data here this is what prop drilling means prop drilling is a scenario where you have to pass data from a parent across different nested children until you get to the child that needs that data and the reason why this is not a good thing is because you can see here in the layout component the layout component does not use the is loading state for anything that it needs it doesn't need the on click submit prop for anything that it needs the only reason why it is receiving this data is because it has to pass that data to the form component and also in the form component the form component on its own is not using the is loading prop is not using the on click submit prop but still it has to receive that data because that is the only way it can pass the data to the button component this is the button component that actually uses the is loading prop and the on click submit prop which you can see the way we used it here so by passing irrelevant data to these two components that do not need it will make our applications difficult to manage their is irrelevant data passing through everywhere and then in this button component if we have to change this prop or change some values then we also have to come to this form component to update it we have to come to this layout component to update it we have to come to app.js to update it so that the data can pass correctly from the app.js to the button components this is prop drilling and the reason why it's not a good thing like i said is because it makes code harder to manage and if you update props in, in any of these components then you have to change a lot of things now what is the solution for prop drilling there are a couple of solutions one of them is by composing your component in a way where you don't have to pass data through different children let's say for example if this app.js does not need all of this here you can just move all of this from here to the form component so that the form component can directly pass that data to the button component and the layout would not need that data. Another way is by using state management tools like Redux, which is an external library for managing states, or by using context from React, which is an API from React that allows you to share state and data across different components. In this video, I'm not going to explain how Redux or context works, but in the video after this one, I'll be publishing how the context API in React works for sharing data across components so do check it out so that you can learn how to avoid prop drilling in react applications if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and also subscribe for more simplified content like this